Good morning. Good morning. We'd like to welcome you to Empowering Word Ministries Incorporated, our morning worship service. Today is our communion Sunday as we do our first Sunday of the month. So please have on hand your uh, communion instruments and for later in the service. We're going to start with a word of prayer by Minister in Training, Karan Weems. One moment as he comes to the screen. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you on today right now, Lord. We thank you, God. Thank you right now, God, for the, for the strength, God, for the courage, God. Thank you for covering us, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. God, we want to thank you, God, for, for being by our side at the worst times and that we may need you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We lift you up, God. We worship you, God. You are our Father, our provider, and our healer, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God. God, we want to thank you, God, for keeping us stagnated right now in this time of in this time of, mi of misery right now, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Father, we come to you on a day and we give you thanks to you. Thank you for breath in our body, oh God. Thank you, God, for clothes on our back, oh God, and in the mighty name of Jesus, God. And this word goes out to those that really need it, God. God, we love you today. We worship you. We need you right now, God, to come on in the midst of this room, oh God, and and we, as we honor your word in the mighty name of Jesus, we love you, Lord. We need you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Minister. And now we're going to have praise and worship. One moment as Minister of Music, Sir Jazz Carl Watson, comes to the screen. Praise the Lord, everybody. We thank God for this morning, for everything that he's done for us. Can you guys hear me all right? I was having some te technical difficulties with my sound earlier. Praise the Lord. We want to sing and declare unto the Lord today that he is our God, that he's awesome, that he is our strength, that he is our way maker, that he is just everything that we need him to be. Our God reigns, our God reigns, Lord, you reign above every name. Our God reigns, our God reigns, Lord, you reign above every name. With power and majesty, dominion, authority, you reign. With power and majesty, dominion, authority, you reign. Come on, power, and we know this. Let's lift it up together. Say, my God reigns. Our God reigns. Lord, you reign above every name. My God reigns. Our God reigns. Lord, you reign. Above every name, with power and majesty, dominion, authority, you reign. With power and majesty, dominion, authority, you reign. Oh, my God reigns. My God reigns, Lord, you reign above every name. My God reigns, our God reigns, Lord, you reign above every name. With power and majesty, dominion, authority, you reign. Oh, with power and majesty, dominion, authority, you reign. Let's go up. Oh, my God reigns. My God reigns. Lord, you reign above 
very name, my God reigns. Said our God reigns, yeah. Lord, you reign above every name with power and majesty, dominion, authority. You reign, yeah. With power and majesty, dominion, authority, you reign. This is my favorite part right here. It says, over my circumstance, giving me another chance, you reign. Over my circumstance, giving me another chance. You reign, you reign, you reign. Come on, sing with me, say, you reign, you reign, you reign, you reign, you reign. You reign over and over. We say you reign. You reign. You reign. I wish my mom would say she really know how to sing it, Pastor Jane. You reign. You reign. Yeah. You reign. You're the all-knowing, all-wise God. You reign. You reign. you reign, yeah, you, you reign. reign, hey, sing one more time, mom, oh, you reign, you reign, you reign, one more time, say, you reign, yeah, you reign, yeah, you reign, Come on, let's take it out. Let's say over my circumstance. Come on, can y'all say over my over circumstance. circumstance? Giving me another chance. You reign. Yeah. Over my circumstance. You're giving me another chance. You reign. One more time, over. Over my circumstance, you're giving me another chance. Yeah, come on, say, you reign. Yeah, you reign. You reign. You reign. Yes, you do, God. Oh, you reign. Hallelujah. You reign. You reign over my circumstance. Yes. Giving me another chance. You reign. Hallelujah. Come on, can somebody just think about that? Is that is that anyone's testimony this morning? You reign with power and majesty. Dominion authority. You reign. We declare, even from a Zoom room, with your power and majesty, hey, dominion of authority, yes. you reign. Hallelujah. Oh, we declare over my circumstance, hey, you've given me another chance. You reign. Yes, you you got God Almighty. We trust your power and sovereignty over my circumstance, over my healing, yes. over my joy, over my peace, over my strength. You reign. You're the supreme God. You're the holy and mighty one, majestic and mighty. With power and majesty. Um, now unto him who is able to keep you from falling uh, and to present you faultless before the throne. Uh, you got to put the scripture where it implements uh, over my circumstance. 
given me another chance. You know my name. Yes. Over my circumstance, you know my name. You know my name. You know my name. And oh, how you walk with me. And oh, how you talk with me. And oh, how you tell, tell me that I am your own. Oh, how you walk with me. me. And oh, how you, how you talk with me. Oh, oh how you tell me that I am your own. Oh, how you walk oh, with me. Yes, you do, God. Oh, how you talk with me. Every day, Father, you talk with me. Oh, how you tell me that I am your own. He knows my name. Yes, he Down on my knees. He knows my name. Yeah. He knows my name. He knows my name. Oh, how he walks. Oh, how you walk with me. And oh, how you. Talk with me. Oh, how you tell me that I am your own. Now, if you belong to him, would you give him a praise like you do? Hallelujah. Come on, somebody give him a praise like you belong to him. Like Hallelujah. he can call you his own. Come on, somebody give him the gift of worship this morning. I belong to you, Jesus. We belong to you. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We belong to you. We belong to you. And we love the fact that you take ownership in us. Because when you take ownership in us, Father, yes, we can God. declare that just as you declare with power and majesty, yes. dominion, authority, you reign, yes, because he knows our names. We reign with power and majesty, dominion, authority. You reign. We declare that you know our name. You know our name. Even in brokenness, you know, you know my name. You know my name. Hallelujah. When they say it. Oh, how he walks with me. Yes, Lord. And oh, how he talks. With me. Oh, how he tells me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I am his own. I can come to the garden alone. Oh, how he walks with me. <laughs> Oh, how he talks with me. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, how he talks with me. Yeah,
it still amazes me that I am that I am your friend. Hallelujah. And another yes. another good writer said, He loves us. Oh, oh how he loves he us. God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Oh, how he loves us. Oh, how he loves Yes, Lord. He loves us. Oh, how he, he loves, loves us. Oh, how he loves us. Oh, how he loves us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In the decree of faith. He loves us. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Oh, how he loves us. Oh, how he loves us. Yes, Lord. He loved us so much that I'll never know. Oh, my God. Yes, Jesus. Oh, God Almighty. To see my sins upon that cross, I'll never, never know how much it costs to see my sins upon that cross. My God, Jesus, yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. How much it costs. Get about shot. To see my soul. How far that cross. Oh, yes, God. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh. Sometimes when I experience him, I lose my words. I lose how I feel. I can't I can't put it into words and I can cry. Oh, 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 oh. Mortgage has has thirty years. A mortgage has thirty years, and it has power within those years. You can draw equity from it as you build into it, as you build up your house, fix your basement, get your kitchen done, finish your get a new bathroom, 
and then you can pull the equity out of it. Tell me if I'm wrong, quick abstract. Tell me if I'm wrong, Come on, son. Come on speak it. My God. But how much equity do we have in him? If I tell you that your worship is your equity this morning, if your worship is your renovation and what you put into it, what will be your return this morning? Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. If the surrendering of your heart is what is your equity, if saying yes to him in this moment, what would be the cost of it? How much would you pull back? And the only answer is, I'll never know. I can't fathom how much it costs to see, see my sins written in his scars. I'll never, never know how much it to see, see my sin written in his scars. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, oh. hallelujah. Oh, 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 Hearts cry, yeah, I see. Oh, 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 na na see your neighbor. Strength today, Lord. Strength today. Strength today. Strength today. Because it reaches to the high. Yes, my turn. Yeah, God. And it blows. Yes, Jesus. To the Lord. Oh. 
Somebody give God praise that the blood never loses. Hallelujah. Never loses its authenticity. Never loses its power. Lord. We get strength from this moment. Uh, never loses its power. That's good. Never loses his power. Never loses his power. Pico might have an outage. Yes, Lord. Yes, the PGW might have an outage. Jesus. But I'm so glad the blood never loses. Yes, God. I'm yes, so Lord. Glad. God Almighty. So glad that the blood will never lose its power. Oh, yeah. Phones will die. Accessories will die. But I'm so glad the blood never lose. Yes, God. Never lose its power. Never lose its power. Hallelujah. But it has a thought of quitting. Never has a thought of giving up. It doesn't go through depression. It doesn't go through seasonal issues. The Jesus. blood will never lose. Never lose its power. God Almighty said it will never lose its power. I might get tired, but the blood will never lose. I might feel like quitting, but the yes. blood, the blood, the blood will never lose its power. I might have to catch my breath, but the blood will I never lose, lose its power. It'll wash me. Yes. It changed me. Yes. Sanctified me. Yes. Made me holy. Made me righteous. I'm so glad that we celebrate the blood today. The power yes, that it Lord. never loses. It has all wins and no losses, no flaws, no slack, nothing lost, nothing broken. We hold to the power this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. I want y'all to hold on to this this, this morning. That the blood never loses. Never loses. Never loses. Never loses. Hallelujah. Never I loses. It. I feel this in my spirit, sir. My, yes. a, Before I'm, it reaches out of my fear. Oh, it reaches to the high. Training. Jennifer Smith. Oh, I don't know if that was good for anybody else, but that was good for me. Just imagine if your worship 
was was your if your return on investment was based on your worship, how much would you get back? Amen. Amen and amen. Ooh. Now it's time for scripture reading by Minister King Barker. One moment as he comes to the screen. Good morning and good afternoon, everyone. I'll be reading uh, from Romans, the eighth chapter, verses 18 through 39 in the King James Version. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestations of the sons of God. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who have subjected the same in hope. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. And not only they, but also, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the spirit, even we ourselves groan within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit, the redemption of our body. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it? Likewise, the spirit also helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for the good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of the son that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? Is it God that justifieth? Who is he that condemneth? Is it, it is Christ that died. Yea, rather, that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. We thank you, Lord, for this, uh, for the reading of your word, and we ask for further strength and faith in applying. Have a good day, everyone. Amen. Ooh, just think about that. If nothing can separate us from the love of God, you should worship right on that. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> now it's time for our church motto. You can say it along with me on the screen. This is the Lord's church and Jesus is Lord. This is the church that's being established by his word. This is the church that love is building. 
the gates of hell shall not prevail. This is the Lord's church and Jesus is Lord. And that is everyday and empowering word ministry. <clears throat> if this is your first time joining us here at service, whether virtual or physical, when we have our, our building, we're so glad that you took the time to worship with us. If you'd like to find out more about what our ministry is doing or what we're up to, we can be reached at the empowering word ministries at gmail.com. Or you can follow us on all social media sites. That's Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We also now have a YouTube page where you can see some of our highlights and some of our services. That's Empowering Word Ministries on YouTube. And now it's time for a part of the service that we hope everyone can participate in. And if not, then we got to bless you. Uh, we have offering time. We have two options that you can give to our ministry if, you, if the Lord is leading you that way. Uh, dollar sign empowering for our cash app. Our trustees are asking that you please include your, your full name when you give that way, your first and your last name in the uh, to the notes form so that your giving can be applied to your statement. Or you can also mail your checks and money orders to Empowering Word Ministries, 22 huts in place, Willingboro, New Jersey. Again, you can give us a cash app at dollar sign empowering, or you can mail your checks and money orders to Empowering Word Ministries, 22 Hudson Place, Willingboro, New Jersey. Uh, we're also asking if you are interested in giving to the Moving Forward Ministry, Moving Forward Scholarship Ministry, please put that in your notes as they can use that money. Now we're gonna have a little bit of music. <laughs> Hallelujah. How many of you still believe in the promises of the Lord this morning? Come on and make some noise. Come on and make some noise. How many of you are walking in increase this morning? Hallelujah. He's still a provider, isn't he? walking in increase. Amen. Now, uh, since it's the beginning of the month, we're going to celebrate our members who have birthdays this month, as we do every month. This month, we have four people. Uh, Minister King Barker, who gave such a rousing rendition of the scripture today. Our sister Natasha Whitfield. Amen. Sister Leslie Page Hannah and Wilbur Drain, Uncle Wilbur, Elder Wilbur, amen, for those individuals born in March, and we bless the Lord for them. <clears throat> Condolences. It is with our deepest sympathy and regret that we announce the passing of Joan Henry, the mother of our beloved, our beloved David Henry, which occurred on Wednesday, 
March 3rd, 2021. The family is unable to receive your condolences personally and invites you to send any cards or condolences to 3708 Woodland Avenue, Drexel Hill, Pennsylvania. The memorial service will be held on Saturday, March 20th, 2021, two o'clock in the afternoon. The service will be live streamed and Zoom information will be shared soon. Please keep David and the family wrapped in prayer. Amen. Our announcements, March 12th through April 2nd is our upcoming Daniel Fest. Get ready. Get ready, get ready. God's going to lose some things. If it got to be your belt, maybe, or if it's got to be your worship. Amen. March 27th is our Women's Empowerment Service right here on Zoom and Facebook also. March 28th will be Palm Sunday. April 2nd is our Good Friday service. April 4th, Resurrection Sunday service. And in May 2021, date to be announced is Women's Day. And now it's time for the word of God. And the next voice you will hear is that of Pastor John F. Clayton, Jr. One moment as he comes. God bless you and praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. This is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice, amen, and be glad in it. I'm excited about what uh, God is doing in this day and time, amen. I'm excited for the women and the work that the women are doing, amen. I'm excited for each one of you. Amen. And how many you know there is no failure? Amen. In God, I want to thank all of you for your continued prayer um, and all of your condolences in the passing of our friend. Amen. Our mother. Amen. Our ancestor. Amen. Mother Joan Henry. Amen. And she touched all of our lives. Amen. And she's one of the founding uh, parents of our church. And so we bless the Lord. Amen. For her and for our family. So keep us in prayer. Amen as we go through uh, this specific time. Amen, is that all right? Amen, we bless the Lord. Amen, I just wanna do a little bit of a, of a something. Amen, let's see if I can pull this off and then we're gonna go into a <laughs> It might be a little high. Sing, Lord, I will my eyes to the hills, knowing 
I lift my hands, hallelujah, in total praise. God to you, you are the source of my strength. God, you are the strength of my life. And so I lift my hands, hallelujah, in total praise to you, amen. If you have your scripture and you have your Bible, let's go to Jonah, the first chapter, amen. The first through third verse, this is communion Sunday. I'm so looking forward. To, communicate, to communing, amen, with each one of you, amen. I want you to know, amen, that it won't be long now, amen. It won't be long now, amen. Bless the Lord, amen. We'll be able, amen, to fellowship, amen, in person, face-to-face -face soon, amen. As Andre Crouch, I don't know about Andre, soon and very soon, amen, we'll be able, amen, to be in the building, in our building together, Amen. We are planning some information for us as a church and ministry around, amen, vaccinations, amen, and the importance of them. And we will get back to you. It will be done um, after one of our services. It won't be done this week uh, because this is Communion Sunday. Gracious God, look upon us and look upon your word. Strengthen and encourage your people. Amen. We pray that the word, amen, would have full effect on the lives of your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jonah, the first chapter, amen. The first verse, I'm going to read it in the King James Version. Amen. You can read it in whatever version. Amen. Amen. I'm reminded of Bishop. Amen. Bishop Goins used to sort of slightly get us. Amen. Not me so much, but Pastor Dana, because she was the one always preaching. Amen. And she would say, all oh, you know, the, new, the uh, what is it? The NIV, not the NIV, the living, the new living translation. He would say, Dana Delight, the King James. <laughs> amen. And I bless the Lord, amen, for, for him. And we honor his memory, amen, today. Now, the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of Amittai, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness is come up before me. But Jonah rose up uh, to flee unto Tarshish, from the presence 
of the Lord and went down to Joppa and he found the ship going to Tarsus. So he paid the fare thereof and went down into it to go with them unto Tarsus from the presence of the Lord. And so I wanna to talk today about turn in the direction of your destiny. Turn in the direction of your destiny. This story is about a man, a man you heard his name. His name is Jonah. Now, this man, a man, was a man with a purpose, ministry, call, and a destiny. And that destiny was intertwined with a destination. Uh huh. But here's the thing about uh, Jonah, if any of you know the story of Jonah. I mean, Jonah decided, bless God, that Jonah did not want to go. His desire not to go, amen, however, did not change his destiny nor his destination. You see, uh, just like Jonah, we are all born into the earth to do something. Hallelujah. I want to help somebody today. Amen. You were born into, born into the earth. Amen. Not to occupy space or to be dead weight, but you were born into the earth to do something. Amen. To be someone and to execute the will of God in the earth. Amen. It doesn't matter what anybody said about you as a child. Amen. You are destined for a destiny and destined for greatness. There is a destiny. And here's the other thing that we like in this church. I told someone the other day, our church is a church about the assignment. Amen. Amen. There is a destiny and there is an assignment. To be called is to be divinely selected and appointed. All of us are called to accomplish something in the kingdom of God. So let me stop there. Amen. And I'm and I want to be clear about this. Everybody has a call. Amen. Not just the preacher, not just the pastor. I know that everybody's elevating the call of the preacher, the pastor, or the bishop. No, all of you have a call. And no call, good God Almighty, no call is greater than another. All calls called of God are important to the fulfillment of destiny and the purpose to the kingdom of God. The call, a call is to give someone notice, to come, it comes by authority. It commands us to come. It makes us servants to the purpose and the will of God. We are called, called to God and called to destiny. And all of us have that call and we must accomplish the task that God has assigned to our hand. This call is preordained. Oh my God today, and I'm excited about that. The call of God is preordained. Before you were formed, amen, in the womb, God knew you. Amen, I wanna help you today. God knew the experiences that would develop your character. God knew, amen, the pains and the scars, the mistakes, amen, the shortcomings. Amen, God knew your ins and outs. I feel like it today, Jesus, but I don't feel like it tomorrow. God knows all of them, yet God has called you, good God Almighty, amen, to fulfill a specific purpose, amen, in the kingdom of God. The Bible says this because of his great love, uh -huh. uh, his great love, God loved us. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath ordained, hallelujah, the work that God has called us individually, thank God, and collectively to do. God hath ordained it, put it in order that we should walk in them. Amen. The call of God, the work of God, it is sovereign. It was based on the plan and intention of God. It has nothing to do, amen, with your intent. Amen. There is no need for you to barter with God. Amen. There is no negotiation that is necessary, nor is there any need for God to explain why he has called you and destined you to do what God has assigned to your hand. When you have been tapped by God for a specific purpose, the assignment, good God Almighty, is tailor-made for you and only you. Amen. 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 I cannot do what God has called Mother Lena to do. I cannot do what God has called Pastor Dana or Minister Sir Jazz to do. Amen. You can try to be someone else and do something else, but there is a juxtaposition 
of all of your experiences that you have been through that make you uniquely qualified to do what God has assigned for you to do in the earth. Listen, we are God's designer originals. Good God Almighty, y'all need to get back into Danny Bill Hawk, Danny Bell Hawk. We are God's designer originals. God calls, amen. And when God calls, we have to do what God has assigned us to do. Amen. The work of God, the call of God can be arduous. Amen. The scripture says God told him to arise and go. Uh -huh. There was work to be done and there was an assignment to be completed that only Jonah could complete. Amen. There was danger and there was risk. But however, failing is not an option. Good God Almighty. Did you hear what the scripture God preordained? Hallelujah, that you would be successful in the work that he has assigned to your hand. And so failing, my God today, is not an option. You are critical. Hallelujah, you are an essential, good God Almighty. You are essential to the work of God. Amen. Listen, it may look stupid to you. Hallelujah, it may sound simple to you. It may not make sense to you but it still needs to be done by you, amen, to fulfill your purpose and the plan of God. Listen, let me help you out. Where there is vision. Somebody is saying, God gave me a vision. I don't have the resources, but where there's vision, hallelujah, there's always provision. Good God Almighty, whom God calls, Pastor, I'm not sure if I'm qualified. Listen, whom God calls, God qualifies. Amen. Amen. The call of God, the work of God is clear. Go to Nineveh and preach. Good God Almighty. Go to Nineveh. For, for some of you, it might be this. Go and heal somebody. Hallelujah. For some of you, it might be go and pray. It might be go to the nursing home. Hallelujah. Go and exhort. Go and encourage, but go. Hallelujah. Wherever and whatever it is, you got to go. Hallelujah. We can hear him clearly. It amazes me that we can hear God clearly when it comes to cars and houses and material things. Hallelujah, things that benefit us. But can you hear the same voice of God? Amen, when he calls you and gives you your divine assignment. You may be unsure, beloved, but God is always clear. Ha, good God Almighty, God is always clear. You may be tentative about what God has called you to do, but God is always firm. Hallelujah. The word of God, hallelujah, always stands sure. There is no confusion in God. When God speaks to you, amen, it's not like God was saying, you mean that person over there. No, God was speaking to you. For all of you that are waiting for someone else to say it, to do it, or to be it, amen, I want you to tap yourself and say, it's me. Good God Almighty, I don't care how uncomfortable it may be. Hallelujah. It's always going to be you. Hallelujah. That has to do it. God knows what you did. God knows who you did it with. And you might have done it last night. Good God Almighty. But that don't change. Good God Almighty. I'm going to show you the assignment that God gave you. How do you know that, Pastor? Let me look into Jonah just for He knew that Jonah had an issue with the Ninevites. But he told him, arise and go. Oh, my. Hallelujah. God knows your history. Good God Almighty. But God still says go. Somebody don't agree with them. God knew, I'm going to say it one more time, that Jonah had hate in his heart for the people that he sent him to preach to. Good. Oh, let me say that one more again, as my sister would say. God knew Amen. That Jonah had animosity and Jonah wasn't happy about preaching to people that he did not like. But God sent him to wait a minute and wait a minute. And God didn't send him a word of condemnation. Amen. What he did was send them a word of warning. Amen. And Jonah knew. Watch this. And some of you all know that when you go, you will be impactful. And that's why some of you don't want to go. Jonah knew that if he preached God's word, because God's word will never return, I feel Jesus, God's word will never return, boy. And when you speak God's word and you speak a God's appointed word, people's lives will be changed. And Jonah hated the people so much that he didn't want to go. Why is it that you don't want to go? 
Are you afraid of the impact that the word that God put in your mouth might have? God knew the issues Jonah had, but he still called him, amen, to go. God knows that you got some issues with the saints, but he still calls you to go. Good God Almighty. Listen, God has sent you. God doesn't always send you to the people that you like. I'm going to help you. Pastor Dana, they don't understand. Listen, there'll be people that hate it on you, and God will give you the word of deliverance for them. Good God Almighty. And you're, listen, there are some people that scorned and mocked you five years and 15 years ago, but God will pick you up. Good God Almighty, turn you around, clean you up, and put a word of deliverance in your mouth that only you can give to those people. I know what I'm talking about. Amen. God knows. Amen. But God commands us to go. Listen, it'll take commitment. Listen, and it will cost you time and resources. But in the end, there will be glory and a crown with what God is requiring of us takes immediate action. Well, you know, I'm gonna wait until, you know, I'm gonna wait, Pastor, because I'm really not sure. No, 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 that's not what God said. God said, get up and go. Uh-huh, what God has told some of you to do, stop delaying, uh-huh. It needed to be done. Listen, it needed to be done and it needs to be done right now. Hallelujah, when God calls, it's time sensitive. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. There's an appointed, listen, there is an appointed time. And when we talk about that appointed time, that means there is a window of opportunity that God is calling for the work of God to be done. Listen, Jesus said this, I must work the works of him that sent me. Amen. Because night cometh when no one can work. Listen, something needs to be done and it needs to be done now. Uh huh. Someone needs your witness and testimony. Hallelujah. Someone needs you to be an example. Amen. You are needed to save a life, change a direction, shift the atmosphere. Jonah had a problem with his assignment. It was not to his liking. Amen. It might not have been a right fit for his personality. And God knows, I tell y'all, preaching is not a fit for my personality. Good God Almighty. Hallelujah. Not a fit. Amen. But I got to, Mother Lena, put her head down. I got to go. Anyway, I got sometimes you got to press past your personality uh -huh, and press past your issues to move into the glory of God. Hallelujah. So listen, but it doesn't matter. God doesn't care about our personality. God doesn't care about our, fe our fears. God doesn't care about our shortcomings. Well, God Almighty, God tells us to go. But you know, Jonah you know, decides to flee from the presence of God. First, this is interesting to me, Mother Lena, that Jonah thought that he could flee God. Amen. But David wrote it this way, whither shall I go from your spirit? Uh-huh. Whither shall I flee from your presence? If I ascend into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in Sheol, O hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand hold me. Jonah must have thought like many of us that if I relocate or remove myself, if I act out, if I overindulge, if I give in to my passions, God will change his mind and call someone else. And I want to help somebody today. That's not going to happen. God speaks to us in our spirits by his spirit. God is resident and present in you. You are the temple of the Holy Ghost. So why is it that people feel that they can cut off the voice of God when you carry the voice of God in you wherever you go? The call of God. I don't care where you go. If you go to hell, the call of God is in hell right with you. Hallelujah. It will follow you. Some of y'all need to know this. The call of God will follow you while you sleep. Good God Almighty. The call of God will follow you. Amen. While you're doing what you're doing, while you're drunk and while you're high. The call of God will follow you. Jonah decides, I'm going in the opposite direction. I'm almost done. The Bible says Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarsus from the presence of the Lord. That's amazing to me. And went down. A prophet thought he could run from the presence of God. <laughs> so he paid his fare. It cost him, listen, 
it cost him something to go in the opposite direction. He paid his fare, went down into it and got to go with them to Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. Listen, you are not called for yourselves. My God today, don't get fooled by these people. Amen, you're called for the people. Amen, you're called to be a servant. We are called, uh -huh. we are saved to serve. We are allotted time to fulfill the purpose and the plan of God. Many people depend upon your obedience and your commitment. Where would you be if the person that brought you to Christ said no? Good God Almighty, where would you be? What would your life be like today if they said no to the work of God? The call is to rise up, rise up and go. It is actionable. The no to God is a, is a desire, listen, to go down. Jonah fled from the presence of God. He went to Joppa. There is no, this, the no is a slippery, a slippery slope. One no to God leads to another and further separation, but a yes increases the likelihood of another yes and another yes. There is a trickle down effect when we don't say yes to God. Jonah put, listen, Jonah put others at risk by not going. Listen to what I'm saying. Others at risk by not going. He thought he was doing what was best for himself, but failed to realize that what he did impacted the lives of others. His no caused storms. I'm going to go, I'm almost done, saints. The no that you gave to God causes storms. Good God Almighty. A no to God has consequences. Watch this. Listen, your no has consequences just like your yes has consequences. There are storms and adverse conditions that occur in a no to God. The natural order of God is disrupted by your no. Everything, good God Almighty, is out of sync when you say no. Family and relationships, others, they can tell when you're out of place and your spirit is off because you gave God a no. Read the story. Could it be that the storms in your life are happening because you have fled from your purpose and essentially told God no? So what did they do? They threw him overboard. Uh-huh. The scripture says that the men who were not Hebrews, but they had a sense that there was something off and one of these things was not like the other. Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God out of the belly of the fish and said, I cried by reason of my affliction unto the Lord, verse two. And he heard me and out of the belly of hell, good God Almighty, I cry. And thou heardest me and said, I cried by reason of my affliction. He heard me and you have heard my voice. Listen, there is no hell. Can I use the word hell? Y'all can use the word hell. There is no hell that you create that God cannot hear you. And some of us have created a whole lot of hell. Good God Almighty. Death may be impending, but listen, if you're in hell, cry out from the place of Sheol. Some stay quiet, pastors, in the place of death. They are resigned in the hell that they created. Listen, Jonah created the circumstance for him to be in the belly of the well, of the whale. Listen, often in my life, I have created self-inflicted hell. Good God Almighty. Ha. Oh my, from the choices that I made, from the people that I associated with, from my spirit not being right, I created a self-inflicted hell. The hell that I have been through has, listen, but the hell uh -huh, that I created, that I've been through, taught me something. It taught me that I don't want no more hell in my life. You see, some of, some of y'all like hell. Listen, but hell don't owe me nothing. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Y'all don't get me. Listen, hell holds me nothing. I'd rather tell yes to God. Uh-huh. For many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them all. Some of us would rather not be afflicted with the righteous and enjoy the hell that we have subjected ourselves to. Listen, I want y'all to know 
I'm going to be 60 in, 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 uh, in May. But let me tell you, no more hell for John Cleveland. Come on, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I'm over with hell. Good God Almighty. Amen. When I go and meet Jesus, I'm not talking about hell, hell there. Amen. I'm talking about there's hell that we can create right now because we have not told God yes. How do you get out of hell, Pastor? Jonah gives us the example. Then I said, I am cast out of thy sight, yet I will look again. Good God Almighty. Listen, I like with these, these prophets, these, these prophets, listen, listen, Paul, uh, uh, the prophet of Lamentations, Jeremiah said, this I recall to my mind, good God Almighty, therefore I have hope. It is the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his, what compassions fail not. Great, good God Almighty. And I told the saints in Bible study, don't let nobody get in your mind. Paul said, it's with the mind that I serve God. If you are in hell, amen, at least have a, listen, I hear the old people say, I got a portion. Good God Almighty, I got a portion of my right mind. Amen. And that portion, Mother Lena, of my right mind, I turn it, good God Almighty, to the temple. Good God, that little bit of mind that I got left, good God Almighty, I will remember, therefore, I shall have hope. Uh-huh. He said, when my soul fainted within me, I remembered. Good God Almighty, don't let nobody ever get in your mind. Hallelujah. Oh, don't let them lock down on your mind. Good God Almighty. Listen, if you free your mind, listen, good God Almighty, the rest will follow. Good God Almighty, if you let your mind be free in Jesus, hallelujah, healing will come and deliverance will come. Good God Almighty, but free your mind and turn your mind. I heard the scripture, let this mind be in you, good God Almighty, which is also in Christ Jesus. You ought to get the mind of God Get them in your spirit. Don't get them in your emotions, but get them in your mind. Good God Almighty, if you get them in your mind, good God Almighty, the rest will follow. He said, my soul fainted within me. I remember the Lord and my prayer came in unto me into thy holy temple. But I will sacrifice unto thee with the voice of thanks. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pastor Dana, did you hear? He remembered that he worshiped. Good God Almighty. I didn't know I was going to take you here, Pastor Dana. In hell, good God Almighty, you don't worship when you get out of hell. You worship in hell, good God Almighty, because the anointing in your worship will break the bonds of hell and help you to escape. You see, some of you got it wrong. I'm going to wait till I get out, then I'm going to have a praise. No, while you are in hell, in the belly of the well, yeah, will I listen? David said, I will bless the Lord, good God Almighty, at all times. And his praise. Wait a minute. When I feel like it, when I'm in hell, and when hell hounds, as the old people say, are on me, I will bless the Lord. You don't wait till you get out of hell to get a praise. Good God Almighty. In the depths of your hell, good God Almighty, I dare some of you to have a praise. I dare some of you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, in your hell, good God Almighty, and watch God deliver. Sir Jackson said, I'm in B flat. I will pay, hallelujah, listen to what he said. I'm going to remember God, good God Almighty, listen. Always remember Jesus and always keep him on your mind. Always have a praise. And then he said, listen, that thing that I bowed to God, I'm going back to do my first work over again. And what does the Bible said? And the Lord spake unto the fish, huh, that thing that was holding him, and threw him up out of the sea. David wrote this, out of the depths of my soul, good God Almighty, out of the depths have I cried unto thee. Amen. I want you to know, hell is not Pastor Clayton's portion. There's, there's going to be an eternal yes, good God Almighty. Oh, my, because I want y'all to know that it's in the yes. Oh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. And, and God is in the yes. It's in the yes, Lord. I don't know Bishop Mason had that right. Yes, Lord. It's in the yes. Amen. There's a, song, a hymn, amen, that Martin Luther, the great reformist, amen, wrote in 1523, out of the depths I cry unto you, O Lord. Now hear me calling, incline your ear to my distress. In spite of my rebelling, do not regard my sinful deeds. Send me the grace my spirit needs. Without it, I am nothing. But Roberta Martin, Y'all don't know who Roberta Martin is. Anybody know who Roberta? Come on, Pastor Dana. Roberta Martin 
Amen. In 1950, pen this song. She said, out of the depths of my soul, I cry. Jesus, draw nigh. Jesus, draw nigh. Lord, lend an ear to my earnest plea. Jesus, draw near to me. Oh, Lord, hear thou my pleading. Speak to my soul. Cleanse and make me whole. Let me forever in thee abide. Lord, let me walk by your side. Jonah realized that the hell he was in was his own doing. You see, some point in your life, you got to take accountability for the hell you in. Good God Almighty. Listen, the first part of deliverance is to own the hell you put yourself in. Good God Almighty. Own it. Own the damage and fix it. Stop digging deeper in the hell that you created. Jonah went down. Jonah went down and Jonah went down. There is a blessing in a yes. Good God Almighty. It seems that the, the smaller the word, the harder it is to say. Ha, good God Almighty. You can shift your trajectory. Amen. It will turn you in the de direction of your destiny. Yes is an ascent to the will of God. Listen, there is a breaking of your will when you say yes to God. That's why we don't want to say yes. Good God Almighty. Because it's a breaking. Uh huh. It's obedience. It's surrender. Amen. To someone else's plan. Good. Now it amazes me that we can say yes to everybody else's plan, but we can't say yes to the plan of God. Hallelujah. God only has you in mind. God only desires to bring you to an expected end. Wouldn't it make sense that you would say yes to a loving and kind God, not the kind of God that was taught to you, amen, by saints that had an ulterior motive, but I'm talking about the God that loves you, even uh, when you're in your mother's womb, the God that loved you when we were yet sinners, Christ loved for us and he died for us. Don't ever stop giving God a yes. Yes brings glory and abundance and blessing. When we do the will of God, we're able to abide in God's presence. Let me tell you something. Everything you need is in God's presence. You don't hear what I'm saying? Everything. Good God Almighty. And there's some I. Thank you, Jesus. Let me get out of here. And there's some things that you thought that you wanted. When you got in the presence of God, you realize I really didn't need them. Because all that I need is in Jesus. He satisfies joy. He supplies life. Listen, there were some things and some people, Mother Lena, I thought I needed in this journey. Good God Almighty. But when Jesus got a hold of me and I got a hold of Jesus, I realized I had to leave them behind in order to do what God desired me to do. All things, good God Almighty, in Jesus, I find. When we do the will of God, we abide in God's presence. Everything you need is in God's presence. Hallelujah. God operates. Oh my, listen, when you say yes to God, God operates and oversees what he wills. Hallelujah. There will never be any failure in God. If God has willed it, it will turn out for the good. Amen. Because we know that all things work together for the good of them that love God. Running costs more than a yes. Uh huh. To turn things around and in the direction of your destiny, it requires a yes. A yes to God is not just agreement, but it requires action. Joni immediately changed his mind and changed his direction and turned towards his destiny. You all read his scripture this morning, and it says this, for I reckon, hallelujah, that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature waits for the map. Did you all know? Amen, amen, amen. Angels, did you know? Woo, good God Almighty that there were some people waiting for the, your manifestation. Good God Almighty, so, listen, 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 Sister Payne, did you know somebody is waiting? Some Y'all don't hear what I'm, some creature is waiting, some mother's daughter, somebody's son, somebody's child is waiting for you to manifest. Good God Almighty, they're waiting for the manif your manifestation. What does that mean? They're waiting for the glory of God to show up in you. Woo. How many did you all know that you some of you all of you carry somebody's deliverance? Oh my in you. Holy Ghost, I thank you. The pastor doesn't have the deliverance for everybody. You have the deliverance for some people. Hallelujah. Stop denying the anointing and power that resides in you. When you walk in the room, there's somebody that needs the word of deliverance that's already in your mouth. The earnest expectation, they're waiting. Woo. 
Good God Almighty. See, some of y'all thought that the year of manifestation was for your house and your car. Oh my, but no, baby, the year of manifestation for our church is for you to manifest everything that God has designed you to be. And I'm going to tell you a secret, and the rest will follow. How do you know, Pastor? But seek ye first, good God Almighty, the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all of these things, good God Almighty, shall be added. What are you talking about? In the scripture before, this is not in my notes, in the scripture before, the birds, good God Almighty, they neither spin nor toil. The lilies don't worry, but you are greater than the lilies. Won't your father give you things that you have need of before you ask, but seek, good God Almighty, hallelujah, the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. Hallelujah. Yes, this is the year of manifestation, but not for things, but for you. Good God Almighty. Hallelujah. Good God Almighty. If you, oh my, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. If everybody in this Zoom room and everybody on Facebook manifested everything that God has designed, good God Almighty, we turn the city upside down. Turn the world upside down. If you allow God to break through in you and manifest, whoo, good God Almighty, manifest the miracles, manifest the healing. What is it? Somebody said, well, Pastor, I don't have nothing, baby. What is it that you got in your hand? Good God Almighty, God put something in your hand. God put something in your spirit. God put something in your heart. It's time to manifest. Hallelujah. Turn into the direction of your destiny. I pray that you are encouraged today. Hallelujah. I want a ministry of manifestation. Good God Almighty. Listen, before men, before miracles can manifest, God's will has to manifest in you. Holy Ghost, I thank you. Hallelujah. Oh my, before that great choir has to manifest. Good God Almighty, Sir Jazz, something got to break through and manifest in you. Come on here. Oh my ancestors, all that praying, something had to happen. Something had to break through. Oh my, good God Almighty, something had to manifest in you before there can be an external manifestation of the glory of God. Because God works according to the power that works in you. There has to be a breakthrough in you for the glory of God to be manifested into the earth. God's glory is not coming from the outside. God's glory is coming from the inside out. Good God Almighty. In the old days, the glory of God came upon people. It was the outside in. Oh, my God today, but something on the inside. Working on the outside, the glory of God on the inside is breaking through in us and manifesting us so that we can do the kingdom work. I pray that you were encouraged. I'm probably in uh, an A flat number 15 by now. But I pray, amen, that you were encouraged, that you would turn in the, in the direction of your destiny. My God today, so that God can manifest in you. What's the end of the story? The whole city repented. Uh-huh. Yeah, the whole city repented. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Some of you know that you're anointed. You know the whole city is going to repent. Good God Almighty, your whole family is going to be saved if you turn into the direction of your destiny. It's not in the bishop's hand. Amen. We dismantle that in empowering word. It's not in only in the pastor's hand. Listen, amen. Each one of us has an anointing. Good God Almighty. Each one of us has to manifest. Listen, we're teaching on the armor of God. If everybody don't have on their arm and everybody's not in place, the enemy will attack that one place and then the whole chain will fall apart because a kingdom, amen, that is divided against itself cannot stand. Oh my, and I'm declare and decree that everybody in empowering word would manifest. My job is to help bring forth. Good God Almighty, Gigi, I got to get ready to go. Amen, Gigi is a doula, amen. And her job is to help bring forth. Good God Almighty. Oh my, Pastor Dane and Pastor Dre and Mother Lil, our job is to help people say push. Ha. Good God Almighty, it's time. Oh my, my lady, I see ya. It's time to push. Good God Almighty. Oh my, it's time to breathe forth. Good God Almighty, it's time to manifest. Good God Almighty, many of us are impregnated with the possibilities and the miracles of God. And if you would just listen, amen, to spiritual doulas and spiritual midwives, amen, that have been there, that have given birth. Hallelujah. All you got to do is when we say push, baby, push. Good God Almighty, pray until something happens. Amen. Prophesy, preach, and sing until something happens. Worship until something happens. But when we tell you to push, good God Almighty, God, well, Pastor, it's going to hurt when I push. Yes, because Zion must travail first before she brings forth. Good God Almighty. And sometimes you got to travail. Good God Almighty. And you can't stay impregnated for 18 months, 
Baby, you got to bring that baby to, come on, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. You got to bring what God has put in you. It's got to manifest. Well, pastor, I'm not getting the house. Manifest God's glory first. Hallelujah. Watch the favor of God. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Pastor, I want a new car. No, no, no. Don't go for the car. Go for the manifestation of the glory of God. Amen. Do the work of God. Listen, and I declare people, listen, you don't hear what I'm saying. People will see what you're doing and God and call you blessed and they'll hand you stuff. Amen. And the favor, I hear God saying, the favor of God will be upon you if you do the glory of God because God knows what you have need of even before you ask. God bless you. Let's get our, com our communion before I start dancing because I'm, I'm, I'm ready to manifest Pastor Damon. Listen, Listen, I've been carrying some things in my spirit for a long time. I'm, I'm ready to manifest them. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I need them to ma manifest, Mother Lena. Amen. I'm so glad that God put spiritual midwives. Amen. And when I get discouraged in the pushing, they said, no, don't push yet. Amen. Don't push yet. There was a time I was discouraged in the labor. Oh, bless God. And I have some people around me say, it's not, don't give up. Don't give up. If you give up, somebody not going to come. Good God Almighty. If you give up. Somebody's not going to hear the word of God. Good God Almighty. Someone's not going to be encouraged. Someone's not going to be lifted. Somebody's not going to be delivered. Pastor, hang in there. Brother John, hang in there. And then somebody said, push. Good God Almighty. And I'm going to help you out. It wasn't the bishop that said push. Oh, my God, today. It wasn't the evangelist or the apostle, amen, that said push. But it was somebody on the side who knew, amen, what it meant to be pregnated by the possibility of God for the glory of God, not for the people, but for the glory of God. Beloved, turn in the direction of your destiny. Amen. Amen. Creation is waiting. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Creation is waiting for you. Oh, my. There's a woman on drugs waiting for you. Oh, my. There's a gangbanger. Good God Almighty. Oh, my. Shia. Oh, my. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah, who's waiting on you to manifest in the earth. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Where would your life have been if somebody had not manifested and told God, yes, good God Almighty? They weren't happy about it. Listen, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you another secret. When God has called you, I wish Mother Lena could be, Mother Lena, and when God really calls you, and you're doing it for God, amen, you're not too happy about it, amen, because it's contrary to everything that you want to do. Listen, Jesus, I want to. I just want to sing on the choir, amen, in the background. I want to be quiet. I want to be indiscreet. I don't want nobody to know my name. And then Jesus said, no, baby, you. I'm calling you from the back to the front. Uh-huh. Because the first shall be last. Oh, my. And the last shall be first. Listen, God has called some of you for such a time as this, for the saving of many people. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid. Amen. God's going to go with you and deliver. Amen. Let's pray. Gracious God, we thank you for this time of communion. We thank you for the word <clears throat> that you're able to manifest in the lives of your people. We pray today that as we commune with you, that you would heal us. Oh my, God, ta oh my, oh my, that you would heal today, both body, mind, soul, and spirit. Oh, glory, in the name of Jesus, heal today, my God, heal our sorrows and heal our pain. In the name of Jesus, oh my, oh God, oh God, fix us for the journey. Oh my, thank you, God, for the yes in our soul. Bless these elements that are separated at each one's home. We thank you for what you have done. My God today, thank you for what you're doing. We bless you. Oh my God today, and we glorify you. Oh my, that there is no failure in you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh my, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh my God today, wherever you are, lift your hands and bless the Lord, hallelujah. Oh, my God, today, I don't care how dark it is. Oh, my. Oh, my God, today. Hallelujah. Just remember the temple. Woo, good God Almighty. Hallelujah. Remember God's word to you. Oh, my. Oh, let's take a minute wherever you are and bless the Lord. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul. And all that's within me. Bless this holy name. Woo, hallelujah. 
who healeth all of our diseases, who crowns our life with glory. Hallelujah. God, we thank you. Hallelujah. We bless you, oh God. Hallelujah. We give your name the glory. Hallelujah. On the night that Jesus was betrayed. Hallelujah. He took the bread and broke it and said, this is my body. Hallelujah. Which is broken for you. Let us eat together. Hallelujah. 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 He took the cup and lifted it up and said, this is the blood of the New Testament. Let us drink together. Hallelujah. 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 This concludes our service today. Hallelujah. Please get prepared. Amen. Amen. Please get prepared, ma'am, sir. Amen. Please get prepared for consecration. Amen. The pastors and the preachers will have, amen, our agenda out to you. Amen. Uh, I believe we'll have it ready. Uh, <clears throat> Pastor Rodney's going to make sure Pastor gets it all out to all of you. Amen. By Friday Bible study with our scripture and our schedule. Amen. I believe Pastor Dana, we're having daily, um, uh, not a daily service, but daily devotional with each other. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh my God today. Oh my. So you don't have to be on this consecration. Amen. Daily consecration uh, meditation service. Amen. It's going to be short at six o'clock, Pastor Dana, every day. Hallelujah. At six, every evening at six o'clock while we're on Daniel fast. Amen. Leading up to, amen. Good Friday service. Amen. And I pray that I'll be there. Amen. Bless the Lord. I'll be there. Amen. With each one of you. Listen, I love you. Amen. With the love of the Lord. Amen. And there's nothing, good God Almighty, you can do about it. Amen. There are people that have acted out. Amen. Because they were afraid. Amen. Thank you, Church Secretary. On uh, March the 12th to April the 2nd. Amen. Through At 6 p.m. daily. Amen. Daily consecration. Listen. Amen. Listen. I love you all with the love of the Lord. Good God Almighty. And there's nothing. Listen, nothing, Mother Lena, they can do about it. Amen. Amen. Why you say that, Pastor? Because God loved me. Good God Almighty, just like I was, and there was nothing. The more I did for God not to love me, good God Almighty, the scripture said, we are sending about. Good God Almighty, grace did much more. Don't do it, Pastor Dana. Grace, y'all don't hear what I'm saying, did much more. Sometimes I frustrated the grace of God, but God never gave up. Hallelujah. And I think I did some things worse than some of y'all because I did it in church. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Oh my, we need to start calling it. When you do it in church, it's worse than when you do it out in the world because you know better. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. You know better. Amen. You hear the word and you got to be accountable to the word of God. And then some of us in church turn our nose up for people in the street. Some of them don't know no better. And see, you don't, when you don't know better, you can't do better. But some of us knew better. Uh -huh, and knew the word and knew the way of righteousness and did whatever we wanted to do. You ought to thank God for grace and mercy. Hallelujah. Pray our strength in the Lord. Amen. We look forward to seeing you. Amen. Friday at Bible study. Amen. Be blessed and be encouraged in Jesus' name. God bless you.